girls. 13-14, 400 yard freestyle relay heat three of three. In lane number one at the bottom of your screen is Tucson Ford dealers. Lane two, Boulder City. Lane three, Crow Canyon. Lane four, your leaders, Edmonton. Lane five, Palo Alto. Lane six, Scottsdale. And in lane seven, Nova Virginia up there at the top of your screen. Lane number eight is Pleasanton Seahawks. Scottsdale Aquatics taking it out in lane number six at the halfway mark here of leg number one. 20, uh, 26-68 it looks like. Scottsdale leadoff leg with a great swim. They're going to be your leader right here at the 100. Touching with a 52-33 into the water in second. In lane number three is Crow Canyon, 52-79. And a pretty close race for third. Watch out there on the bottom of your screen. Lane number one turning it on is the Tucson Ford dealers. Change of leadership position already here in the halfway through the second leg. Crow Canyon taking over leadership, now followed by Scott Still. Great tempo in lane number three for Crow Canyon. That's the reason they've taken over here on the second leg of this 400 free relay. Just really turning it over like two pistons pumping in the motor of a car. That's exactly what's going on there in lane number three from the Crow Canyon swimmer. Great visual there, Garrett. Got a body length lead, Crow Canyon at the halfway mark. She is going to touch the wall at a 146.82, still followed by Scottsdale, 148.87. And we've got some outside players in the game, but already moving quick in lane number four is Edmonton. Edmonton on the move, and keep an eye at the top of your screen in lane number eight for the Pleasanton Seahawks team. But it's still Crow Canyon in lane number three here, halfway or almost halfway through this third leg. This is the final heat of the girls 13, 14, 400 freestyle relay. Anchor legs about to enter the water. It's Crow Canyon out in front with a quite a few yard lead into the water. Around a 241-03. I believe that's Ariana Sagafi entering the water for Crow Canyon. So you might as well say see you later to the rest of the field. A terrific swimmer there in lane number three. A great way to finish off. A look, terrific relay for the Crow Canyon girls down there in lane number three. And look at that wave that's following her feet. It all, you, can see, you can see the water coming out from that kick. Very aggressive, very strong, and it's safe to say this is going to be a victory right here for Crow Canyon. That's unofficial. we got to make sure that everybody was clean on those relay exchanges, but they are definitely going to touch the wall first. Scottsdale Aquatic Club up there in lane number six trying to rally back. They're going to have too big of a deficit, though. Great. to be able to make any real impact on your leader, but still a terrific anchor leg taking place up there in lane number seven. But the all-round relay victory goes to the Crow Canyon girls in lane number three with a 333-1-1. Scott still in for second, lane six, 337-00, and sneaking in for the third place finish up there in lane number eight, 337-85 is the Pleasanton Seahawks. On to the boys.